Hey, well, good morning. Welcome to Lake Chabot, Vallejo, California. My name's Doug, AKA Friends of Lake Chabot. I've asked you to come join me today here at Dan Foley Park to talk about some corporate foot dragging. 55 acre Lake Chabot across the way here. Oh, whoa, wait, wait, I got a bite. Man, I got one. Oh, oh no, no, it's darn. It's not a keeper. It's not indigenous to these waters. It's a non-native species. That's why I've asked you to join me today. There's a bunch of debris in the lake and the creek down below the lake, and I'm here to talk about corporate foot dragging. I'm here to talk about Discovery Kingdom. Across the way here in 2007, there used to be a large floating structure. Much of the debris we're gonna look at today comes from that structure. So let's not waste any time. I want you to join me. We're gonna head down to the dam. We're gonna head down to Chabot Creek. Come on, let's go. Discovery Kingdom has a history of ignoring people like myself who are trying to get them to be nothing more than accountable for their property. In this case, I'm referring to pollution in the lake and the creek, the pollutants being large debris. In 2010, a new president came on board to Discovery Kingdom. His name was Dale. My attempts to communicate with him via email were ignored. So the results were the introductory clip you saw. I filmed the video, and when I let him know I'd filmed the video and was going to release it, I got a call Sunday morning that day saying, Doug, let's meet at the lake. It's unfortunate that that's what it takes to get a corporation to be responsible for its own property. Just uh, bring it down here a little bit. What, uh, what is Chabot Creek? But if you take a little bit of a closer look, right in here, that down there is actually a big old chunk of plywood. It's got outdoor carpet on it. It's been there six or seven years. Foam padding or carpet. Not sure what it is, but I'm uh, pretty sure where it came from. Just stumbled across this little feller. He's about 15 feet from the water. The two by eights, two by twelves. The big chunks of foam. have a permit from the Regional Water Quality Control Board. That permit does not authorize you to discharge materials into the lake. Granted, they're not intentional, but all you have to do is pick up after yourself. But you seem to have a problem with doing that. You seem to have a problem communicating with people who ask you to do it. It's been seven, eight years when I've been trying to talk to you guys. Enough's enough. I'm done asking. I'm telling. We're taking it public. This is the forum. This is the forum we're going to next. Senior Vice President of Six Flags Theme Park said, quote unquote, we didn't have to look far for the best candidate to lead the team at our most unique property. I would hope that Lake Chabot would be part of what makes this property so unique. The new park president in that article, his name is Don McCoy, said, quote, he looks forward to taking on new challenges at Discovery Kingdom, unquote. Well, Don, I'm going to be one of those challenges. Welcome to the layout.